We're here to share with you inspiring stories that bring to life all the little and big ways that people bring more love, joy, laughter, and humanness to everyday life. Our focus is the hunt for those little moments that refuel the human soul and reminds us what life is really all about. I invite you to sit back, enjoy the moments, enjoy the stories, the adventures, and the journeys. Jerk Robbins here. Welcome to another episode of What the World Needs More of. I have an amazing guest today. Barbara, thank you for joining us. Thank you. I'm so, so honored to be here. And I'm so excited to be here. So thank you. Well, our first question, we always start off with the question of the show, which is what do you believe the world needs more of? The world needs more positivity like it yeah <laughs> that's, that's I like it that's what I think we need right now anywhere specific um I think definitely with our the way that we look at ourselves and think about ourselves hmm. I think that's a big one I'm raising two little girls and you know I'm really conscious about the way that I talk about myself um and it, you know, it's, it's, it's sometimes hard to look in the mirror and, you know, like, why am I being so negative about my own self? So I think just the way we talk about ourselves, look at ourselves, feel about ourselves. Um, I think a lot of us struggle with that. Lots of comparison to culture, you know, especially with social media. So starts within. I agree. I agree. I like that. Second question. What is your wow factor? What makes you uniquely you? And what are some of the moments that help shape it? My wow factor would be, I guess, my love of being on camera. Um, you know, I have a lot of people who tell me like, you're so good on camera. You're so good on videos. Um, and I think it's been a huge selling point for it or it's helped to grow our business, you know, because I like to get on camera and I like to be, I've always loved to be on stage. I, you know, I used to do theater as a young kid. So I've always, you know, just liked to be in the spotlight. Um, yeah. And I can't remember the second part of that question. But that's my what, wow factor. <laughs> what are some of the moments that helped shape it over the years? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, I think it was definitely, um, you know, my mom really pushed me. So from a young age, I, I used to sing. So my mom kind of saw that in me at a young age and really pushed me to be in theater and be on stage. And, um, you know, I think that definitely helped to shape it. And, and also too, just, you know, getting comfortable with being in front of people and talking in front of people. Um, I was lucky to go to a school that really, a grammar school that really honed in on that, the, the arts. And um, it, it definitely helped to shape that for me as an adult. Um, and I still, you know, when the camera comes on, I'm like, okay, <laughs> where's my, you know, I'm ready for my close, you know, it's close up. So I still like it. I still love to be on camera. And um, I think that's definitely in our business for sure. It's our, wow. It's our wow, my wow factor. Very cool. What's a moment in life that made you feel incredibly humble? Hmm. Um, you know, I spent six weeks in the hospital when I was pregnant for Isla hmm. and um, it humbled me pretty tremendously um, in a really great, in the most positive way. You know, it humbled me because life is so precious and um, it humbled me and also gave me this really newfound respect for healthcare professionals and people who take care, take care of other people. Um, and it was, it was a humbling time in my life for sure. And, um, definitely defining. So that, that was a big one, a recent one and a big one. I could see that. What was your biggest takeaway from it? Um, my biggest takeaway from that experience was 
and really, you know, it came from, it actually came from Amanda. Um, very early on in that whole entire experience when I was in the hospital, she sent me this podcast of this Navy SEAL talking about getting through hell week and, you know, how his, you know, instructor gave him the advice of like, take it one meal at a time. You know, you're going to go through hell. It's going to be horrible. It's going to be traumatic. And then you're going to get to lunch. And then after lunch, you're going to go through more hell and then you're going to get to dinner. So my biggest takeaway from that was not thinking a day or a week or even a month in advance. It's just taking one day at a time, especially when you're going through something really difficult. Um, and I still kind of, I've taken that with me since that experience. And when I'm going through a hard time in life, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to think about what happened in the past. I'm not going to think about a week from now. I'm just going to make it through today and make today the best it can be. Um, and it's, it's a good technique. It really, it, that was my, that was one of the biggest things I think I've, I've taken away from it other than, you know, just I, obviously again, like healthcare professionals, man, they really, they make such a huge difference in people's lives. You know, you drive past hospitals all the time and you see people going to work and like, you're not thinking about it, but on a daily basis, they're changing and impacting people's lives so profoundly. And, you know, I was in there, I couldn't leave, you know, so I was living there and just the, the even the person who would come to clean my room every day, Miss Charlene, I talked to her every day. I looked forward to her coming in and those human interactions were so impactful. Um, and, they're all also often um, underappreciated. So, you know, I really do. I, every time I see nurses in our grab and go or doctors, I just thank them. Like, thank you so much for, you know, taking care and caring about other humans. You know, it's so important. It's such important work. I love that. I love that. What about an awe-inspiring moment? Something that left you in a state of awe? Um, having kids is the most awe-inspiring, incredible thing in the world. I mean, just to see this human that you created and look down and be like, this is a, my baby, you know, it's so awe-inspiring. It really is. It's, um, and also I think even on that same note, but watching your husband turn into a father just in that instant, you know, because I think when moms, when you get pregnant, you're a mom, you know, you're already mom, but seeing your husband transform into a dad when he holds that baby is like, I don't know, it's just, it's amazing. I remember when we were filling out the paperwork when Elle was born, it was like, he, he was, he was filling everything out, you know, and he's like, they're asking me for the father's information. And he's like, I don't know what my dad's social security number is. I'm like, no, they're talking about you. <laughs> you're the father <laughs> he's like oh okay yeah <laughs> so yeah so I mean it's just um it, it would you know it's definitely so inspiring it, it really transforms you as a person it makes you a better person you know it makes you more compassionate more patient more loving um I think it, it can really bring two people who love each other can bring, bring them together in such you know impactful and intense way, you know. I love that. What is your greatest fear? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oof, that was a, that's a heavy hitter, Jarek. Shoot. Um, <laughs> my greatest fear. Um, I guess, you know, not being able to, and I think any, every parent can kind of relate to this, is not being able to give my kids the life that I want to give them and all the things, you know. Um, it, it's a motivator, but it's also, it's, it's a little fear driven too, because it's like, how the hell am I going to be able to pull this off, you know, to give them, them the life I truly want, um, you know, and it's, it's, it scares you a little bit. I don't always think that fear is necessarily a really bad thing. No. Um, I think that it's something you can lean into a little bit and, and it helps you to self, self discover, you know, like what, what's making me so fearful about this, you know, changing the narrative around it. So, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's one thing I think kind of makes my stomach tingle a little bit when I'm like, okay, well, I know that I want to be able to travel with my kids and show them the world and, and make sure that they have everything and everything that 
they w- would possibly ever want. Um, and so it's a, it's a little scary, you know, to, to navigate through that and also make sure that they're good people at the end of it all, you know, That's the and, if you do all yeah. that good stuff for them. They better turn out to be good people and not turds. Yeah. And I want my kids to, when they're grown, still want to like be around us and be with us. You know, I want them to be adults who still want to, to be around their parents. And I think that's, that's a, that's the parent flex, right? That's the biggest parent flex when your kids are grown and they're still like, what y'all doing on the weekend? Like, we want to come hang out. Like that's a parent flex. So I want that for sure. I like that. What are you most excited about for your future? Hmm. Um, you know, it's a big goal of mine to live by the water. And I have this vision in my brain of what I want it to be. And so, um, you know, I think that's on a personal note, that's what I'm most excited about. On a professional note, it's, to really, you know, make an impact in our community on people's health and wellness. Mm -hmm. It's something that excites me. And I I know if we continue with this work, we're going to continue to make the impact. So I just know in the future, like, I'm going to look back and be like, man, we touched so many people's lives in a positive way and help them to live a healthier life and feel really good, you know, and live longer and, um, and really place importance on longevity and making people not not treating people who are dealing with sickness and illness but helping to prevent all that so um it's that's something i'm really excited about for the future is just continuing on our mission you know of helping people live healthy so i love that i love that well the second part of the show we call nuts and bolts this is the technical tangible tactical type stuff um First question is, what do you focus the majority of your thoughts, time, and life on each day right now? My kids. It's, it's, you know, I have two very young kids. Um, And so, I mean, second to that is definitely business, but first and foremost, it's making sure that all the things are being taken care of for them. I have an almost two-year-old and a five-year-old. And so any mom that's like listening knows what that chapter is like. It's you're completely consumed by what they need. Um, So it's definitely all the importance is focused around them right now. I love it. What is the key to your success? (laughs) Um, That it's not about me. It's not about me at all. That's the key. It's, it's about other people, you know? Um, And I think a lot of people, they get afraid of, you know, I don't know, anything. And I think once you realize, especially when you're trying to help people, when you realize it's not about you, it's never been about you. It's about helping other people. It it frees you from that fear um, of holding you back from really, sharing your mission, spreading the word, starting a business, whatever it is, especially when you're out to help somebody, you know, it's, if you, if you realize that, then it, it's definitely empowering. I love it. And what is one actionable tip to help others achieve and experience this kind of success in their life that you've experienced and created in yours? Um, I would say consistency on doing the thing that maybe you're hesitant about. Um, For me, for the longest, it was like, I just, I know that for us, videos and content, they really work for our business. They they work when I get on Instagram and I film videos and I talk about our business and um, make our customers a hero. hero. And I, I, you know, I had all this narrative in my head about like, it's gotta be perfect. It's gotta look a certain way. I have to, I have to look a certain way. Uh, but when I just kind of like got rid of that and said, you know what, it's just about consistency over time. It doesn't have to be perfect. As long as I'm helping other people and getting the word out there, it's going to make the impact. So I think for anybody in business, you know, consistency every single day of doing those things that you, you might have been putting off, you know, um, and really being honest about those things and just doing it makes the difference. Yeah. 
I had a friend who said, my inconsistent video kicks your perfect, what is it? Perfect delaying all day long. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was laughing. Yeah. I'm, eh, it's funny. Uh, <laughs> it's true. It's, it is true. It's so true. It's true. So if people want to connect with you, if people happen to be in your part of the world, where can they go? What, where, where can we connect them to learn more, to connect with you, to come get some healthy food? Yeah, for sure. Okay, so we have um, a grab and go in New Orleans. We also have one in Baton Rouge, but definitely connect with me on social media. So eat underscore clean creations is our professional Instagram. My personal one is at Barb Wellness. Um, I'm getting certified for health coaching through IIN right now, which has been this incredible experience. So like my, my just soul is set on fire with all the knowledge. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And I've been sharing a lot of what I'm learning on my personal social Barb wellness. So, um, it's just people really, they really need help. And I see so many people on a daily basis who are struggling with health and wellness. And, um, and I, I know that with health coaching, it can, it can really impact people's lives. So it's so needed. So yeah, so connect with us there. And if you're living in New Orleans, you have got to come into the grab and go and come say hey to me because I love meeting new people. So uh, yeah, our cleancreations.com is our website. There you go. Well, Barb, thanks for joining us. Thanks for sharing with us. And for everyone listening, thank you for tuning in to another episode. I look forward to seeing you for another one.